Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. Today we will be doing a pride sweater hoodie that a friend of mine gave me to try to bring some more color to it. It's already got a lot of color, but it's just a uh, gray sweatshirt and they wanted a little something a little more. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I figured just a good old scrunch ought to take care of it. Yeah, I was feeling guilty on adding color to it, but I figured the more color the better. That's what it's all about, right? But one thing I forgot, and you'll see here in a bit with the color, uh, I know what colors make what colors and so on. You add orange to green, you get brown and so forth. Well, also on these, this is a gray shirt. So when I added yellow to it, yellow on gray makes a green and when that's right next to an orange it makes a brown oh well live and learn but i knew that <laughs> and when i do a nice dye like this one i'll have the flat side up so you can spread the dye a lot more evenly and yes, I forgot to start the camera. So actually the first color I have on there is bright green and light red. And now I'm adding royal blue. Uh, lemon yellow is gonna go right next to the uh, bright green, in which my bright idea then was if I put the orange between those two, it should be fine. But I did forget Yellow on gray makes green. And green, orange, brown. Oh well. See what we get. Can't be that bad. And the very, very last one was wisteria in the middle of everything. some blank spots there. And I will not be putting soda ash on this because there's soda ash in the bottles. Each bottle has a quarter cup of soda ash and two teaspoons of your dye. And this is what we got. I think it turned out really good myself. Well, let me know what you think. I'm so glad you're watching my station. I love doing these. If uh, you like what you saw, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks again.